Greetings, everybody. Faiz Jacobs here, um, ANC member. I've been inundated with uh, questions on the guidelines for conference. So I thought I'd share uh, and just take us through the presentation of the guidelines. So let me just go through that quickly. So as we might know that um, we've adopted the guidelines for branch general meeting, uh, branch general, regional and provincial meeting. Um, the presentation is about a few slides. It talks about how we go about it, the nomination process, uh, the dispute resolution uh, process, um, and also deal with the uh, conclusion. So <clears throat> this quote talks about how we did not tear each, each other apart because of lack of progress at times. We were always ready to accept our mistakes and correct them. Above all, we succeeded to foster unity in the ANC and unity amongst our people. Even during the dark days, bleak days of apartheid, we were never in doubt of winning our freedom against colonialism apartheid. We trumped and, and in the doubt, never doubt that the cause of people shall be, uh, shall be prevailing. So what is the objectives of the workshop? Quickly take us through the guidelines, ensure proper implementation of the guidelines, help structures to serve our communities better, and also to, to ensure that there's a level of standard and uniformity across the levels and across the different branches and boards. The background, this uh, guidelines was adopted by the NEC in December 2019. We had uh, the corona pandemic since then, uh, subsequent, everything was postponed because of the pandemic and uh, uh, the protection of lives. We are now at uh, alert level one, so we said uh, that more activities is possible. So the proposed amendments to the guidelines uh, will ensure that we have constitutional conferences uh, in place um, and that we still maintain the safety. So uh, the membership management system is live and uh, that is ongoing. So what is the key feature of the democratic character of the ANC is that our constitution requires a regular conference at all levels of the organization. The basic principle in preparing for conferences is contained in the rule 3.2 of the ANC constitution, which states, and I quote, its policies are determined by membership and its leadership is accountable to the membership in terms of the procedures laid down in the constitution. All conferences allow for accountability and the renewal of mandate of leadership. This accountability takes form in the outgoing executive collective, whether it's branch executive, PEC, regional executive, REC, PEC, provincial executive committees, or the national. And they are being responsible to steer the work of the ANC report on progress done in terms of their office and convening conferences where new elective collectives will be elected. Branch, regional and provincial conference must therefore discuss key, key community, organizational, governance and political issues which the incoming collective must deal with. The conference must also elect elective collectives, REC, BEC, to steer the movement in the area for a period of their mandate. All members in good standing must participate in the branch biannual general meeting and the branch general meeting that prepares for conferences. All ANC members are reminded of their rights and duties set out in rule five of the constitution. So rule four of the constitution says that membership is open of the ANC to all South Africans above the age of 18 members or people who are not South African origin and reside within the country may also apply for membership. Application for membership shall be con considered by the branch executive working committee and together with the BGM. The RSE committee shall consider these applications in areas where there's no branches. Provisional membership rights commence on the date of your application being acknowledged and the appropriate subscription fees being administered. Any member may object to membership application within six months of being notified of this application. Rule five of the constitution takes 
talked about taking full and active part of the discussion, formulation, and implementation of the ANC's policies. You as a member can receive in part information of all aspects of ANC policy and activities. You can take part in the elections and be elected or appointed to, to any committee, structure, commission, or delegation of the ANC. Offer constructive criticism of any member, official policy, program, or activity of the ANC within its structures. The duties of the member is to belong to and take active part of the life of his or her branch. Uh, to take all necessary steps to understand and carry out the aims, policies, and programs of the ANC. Explain the aims, policy of the prog of programs of the ANC to our people and our communities. Observe discipline, behave honestly and ethically, and carry out loyally the decisions of the majority and the decisions of the higher structures. Inform his or her branch of any movement or relocation that is outside the boundaries of his and her branch, and as well as what are the branch general, biannual general meeting. The BEC and members of the branch must ensure that it meets the requirements of the ANC constitution, strategy and tactics. Branch must be active, including regular BGMs, have community programs of action discuss branch political matters, recruit new members, convene BVGMs every two years. The branch executive shall consider the branch membership list, set a cutoff date for members who have to have their membership in order and set a date for the BBGM. The BEC must ensure sufficient time is allocated for the work of the BBGM. The BEC through the branch secretary shall communicate the date, time, and venue of BBGMs at least seven days before BGMs to all members in good standing and in grace period who are eligible to participate. Where a BBGM does not correct after the first attempt, the BC must give at least 48 hours notice to all eligible members of the second and third attempt to hold the BGM. The BC through the branch secretary shall register the date, time, and venue of the BBGMs on the ANC MMS. Uh, evidence of attendance system, including details of the second and third attempt. The BC shall appoint an electoral committee to conduct the elections of the new BEC at the BBGM, which should consist of veterans or other trusted comrades, including one representative from the leagues. BC must also include or must ensure that the schedules of the BC meeting before the BBGM to deal with disputes. The branch secretary on behalf of the BEC shall print the membership list and sign the attendance register of members qualifying to participate as per the cutoff date. The membership list and attendance register must be, pre must be presented at the BEC meeting before the BGM. The BEC shall use appropriate means to inform, mobilize qualifying members of the BBGM using social media, SMS, letters, WhatsApp, emails, loud hailing, posters, notices. Members shall be reminded to bring their valid ID or driver's license to BBGM as their ID is used to verify status on the membership. Membership shall also be reminded to wear masks and that no one will be allowed into the meeting without the mask. The PEC before the meeting shall arrange sanitizer screening and setup of the meeting to ensure protocols of social distance. On the day of the BGM, the branch secretary and other BEC members shall ensure the formal registration is conducted. At least one hour before the start of the BBGM, a registration table shall be set up at the entrance of the wall, as well as the station for sanitizing and screening. Assign the register comrades from the branch as scanning agents to scan members' ID as they arrive on the evidence of attendance app. All eligible branch members and, and guests must sign the branch attendance register. Branch secretaries and scanning agents should not be the same person. In line with Rule 25.17.16, fighting, assaulting, and other members or behaving in a disorderly or unruly manner at ANC meetings, assemblies, or gatherings, and or disrupting meetings or interfering with the orderly functions of the ANC are acts of misconduct for which disciplinary action may be instituted against members or, or members. Interfering with the orderly function of the BGM or BGM process 
including disruption from the registration process, a scanning of IDs uh, who's not present or using other members' IDs to gain access. The BBGM is chaired by the chairperson of the branch or by the deputy chairperson or the chairperson, if the chairperson is not available, the branch secretary can also chair. The NEC, PEC and RSC may deploy leadership to observe the branch general meeting. The role of the deployees is to assist and provide political input guidance where required, not to take over, not to usurp the functions of the branch executive committee. The outgoing secretary shall ensure that the record is done of the BGM and shall submit all documents and records to the, to the newly elected branch. The incoming um, secretary The incoming branch secretary shall submit a copy of the BGM report to regional and provincial secretary and also upload the report on the branch functionality portal once the function is created by the cloud, ANC cloud. The REC must ensure induction of newly elected DEC members within 30 days after that BBGM. The regional secretary shall ensure that the names, details of, of all BECs are submitted to the provincial office for updating of the membership management system and the ANC cloud. What must be the, on the agenda for the BBGM? Welcoming and adoption of the agenda, uh, COVID-19 uh, protocols, credentials report, quorum, political overview of the outgoing chair, organizational report by outgoing branch secretary, financial report by the branch, outgoing branch treasurer, discussions and adoption of the report. Program of action for the next two years, input on the through the eye of the needle, elections of the new BEC according to rules 23.2.5 announcement. In terms of the branch general meeting preparation for conference, once the BEC is informed about preparation and roadmap towards the regional or provincial conference. Uh, it shall make preparations to convene a BGM to prepare the branch main mandate for conference. The branch executive committee shall meet, consider the branch list and set a date for the BGM. The BC shall ensure sufficient time is there to do the work of the BGM. The BGM through the branch secretary shall communicate date, time and venue of the meeting at least seven days before the BGM to ensure eligible members in good standing and in grace uh, attend. Where BGM does not correct the first time, BEC must at least give 48 hours notice to eligible members of the second and third attempt to hold the BGM. If the branch fails to correct after the third attempt, it shall forfeit its right to nominate members for the BEC, B and REC and it will be granted observer status at the conference. BEC through the branch secretary shall register the date, time and venue of the BGM on the ANC's MMS evidence of attendance system. It must also ensure BEC meetings before the BGM to deal with disputes. The branch secretary on behalf, on behalf of the BEC shall print the membership and the attendance register and present it at the BEC before the BGM. BEC shall use appropriate means to inform, mobilize, and qualifying members using social media, SMS letters, notices, WhatsApp, loud hailing, and other posters or uh, public notices. Members shall be reminded to bring valid ID or driver's license as the ID is used to scan and verify the status of the BGM members. Uh, on the day of the BGM, the branch secretary and other BEC members uh, shall ensure formal registration is conducted. Uh, one hour before the registration table should be out, assign a registered person um, as a scanning agent to scan IDs as they arrive. All members and guests are required to sign the branch attendance register. Again, in line of rule 25.17.16, fighting, assaulting, other members or behaving in a disorderly or unruly ANC meeting, assembly, gatherings, interfering with orderly functions or ANC or acts of misconduct for which disciplinary action may be instituted against the member. 
interfering with orderly functions of the BGM, including interfering disruption registration, scanning of the ID uh, of members not present or using other members' ID to gain um, is also dismissible or acts of misconduct. BGM is chaired by the chair or deputy, or if another available, the branch secretary will chair. The, the NEC PEC RC may deploy leadership to observe these meetings. The role of the BEs, the deployees, is to assist with political input and guidance, not to take over the function of our branch secretaries. Branch chairs and secretaries shall complete and sign the meetings of attendance, register delegates, form nominees, and submit to the electoral agents or at a regional or provincial as required. The agenda of the BGM is welcome purpose adoption, credentials, inputs on organizational renewal through the eye of the needle, nominations of candidates for RSC PEC, the top five RSC PEC positions, and also members of the RSC election or branch delegates to conference. Quorums of the BGM and BGM is made up of 50 plus one of members eligible to attend based on the evidence Membership presence should provide with updates on the status of the BGMs no, not longer than one hour after the designated starting time. If through our, these three hours have passed and still no quorum, the BEC shall be postponed and a new day shall be set, which is no less than 48 hours after the first attempt. Where the BEC fails to convene due to no malice, non-functionality or lapse, the the P the REC lies with its powers 2021.10.8 may recommend in writing to PEC that it convenes members of the branch and in that branch in order to qualify for ANC members to participate in their conference. PEC in line with, with rule 19.9.12.1 shall delegate the REC to convene this uh, BGM or BBGM. The province shall submit reports to SGO in the instances um, where this have been applied. Branch nomination process for the REC and PEC. At the BGM, convene for the purpose of preparing for regional or provincial conferences. All eligible members are free to express their opinion under the relevant agenda items and nominate at appropriate time to vote according to their preference. Anyone trying to do proper an improper influence, threats, and make promises of patronage or give rewards to get members to vote uh, for a specific nominee will be guilty of a disciplinary offense and should be reported to the Electoral Commission. The nomination process, a branch members are not bound by their regional, provincial, or league preferred numbers or any slate circulated in their region or province or league. They can vote on the branch mandate or the majority provincial num nomination or be influenced by debates or others that can occur. Nomination process of region and provincial offices. Branches may also nominate individuals for the top five positions of REC, PEC, which is chair, deputy chair, secretary, deputy secretary, and treasurer. If only one person is nominated, the nominator should motivate the nomination should be opened by a short debate and branch chairperson through a show of hands vote in support of that person. A nominee must get 50 plus one vote. If more than one person is nominated, the nominator should be given a chance to motivate a short debate, be allowed, and then branch should vote for their preferred candidate. For a nominee to be considered at least to the nomination list of a branch, it must be at least supported by 10% of the branch membership present. If no nominee gets 50% plus one of the votes in the first round, a series of votes shall be entitled for the candidates, for only two candidates to remain. The final nominee should receive more than 50% of the votes of the members present. For the top five RSC and officials, chair, deputy chair, secretary, deputy secretary, and treasurer, the name or the highest number of votes shall be the branch nomination and it's written on the branch nomination form on each position. 
Frances must bear in mind the ANC is committed to gender equality and that each nominee for the PECRDC must have been in a member uh, in good standing for five years and for PEC, a member in good standing for seven years. Nomination process, um, Constitution Rule 21.5.3 allows for 20 additional members at the REC level and 30 additional members at the PEC level. At least half must be women according to the rule. The branch must bear in mind the requirement for leadership in the eye of the legal, nominate gender, youth, experience, diversity, representation of sectors and demographics in the province and country. Chairperson of the BGM shall ask for nomination seconders and continue, continue until there is no names left. If the meeting agrees to close nominations, all names nominated should be captured as well as those nominated and, and seconded. For each member, a, nom a nominee will be motivated and then members will to vote to support the nominee by a show of hands. The branch will only formulate, formally nominate candidates who get more than 50% of 15% of the vote. For additional members, the names are put in order of the number of votes received by the branches, and this is written down on the branch nomination form for the additional NEC members. Branches must bear in mind that each nominee for REC must have be a member in good standing for five years, and for the PEC, a member in good standing for more than seven years. If there is branch dispute, uh, branch dispute resolution process, Disputes can arise from the membership list, attendance list must be lodged in writing with a BEC in no less than two days after the BGM or BGM and a copy sent to the regional and provincial secretary. The BEC must consider the complaint and make a verdict. The verdict of the dispute must be communicated to the complainant in writing and a copy sent to the regional and provincial secretary within 48 hours, 28 hours after the mandate was processed. In the event that the member is aggrieved by any matter relating to the context, conduct, proceedings, and constitutionality of the BBGM or BGM, such a member can lodge a dispute in writing within 48 hours after the meeting of the BEC and copy the regional and provincial secretary. The person who raised such a dispute must be a member in good standing and have also been present at the BGM or the BBGM. ANC members who fail to register, stage a walkout, disrupt the meeting, threaten ANC members or fail to raise their concerns in meeting in the BGM or BBGM under the appropriate agenda shall not be eligible to lodge their dispute. The BEC must sit and communicate its verdict in writing to the complainant and copy regional and provincial secretary within 48 hours of receiving this complaint. If a member is not satisfied by the resolution of the dispute by the BEC, the members can write an appeals letter by the Provincial Dispute Resolution Committee. The PEC must ensure that members of the PDRC are not conflicted by hearing cases relating to their own branches or branches to which they were deployed. Reports of all disputes arising from BBGM shall be submitted to the Secretary General's Office. The final body for appeals on dispute shall be National Dispute Resolution Committee in determination of the NDRC with regards to regional and provincial conferences as well as the final shall be in writing and be communicated to the affected regions, provinces and their complainants. Um, BGMs during COVID conditions if the branch membership is larger than required allowed in BGM re regulations, there's a real danger and we must then uh, see how we can deal with this. The outcomes of the decentralized BGM must be consolidated and submitted as one branch report. A virtual BBGM, a meeting convert, convened virtually on the virtual platform, uh, all proceedings on, of the meeting must be recorded. All participants to the meeting must be logged in with their names indicating their devices. Sharing with comrades for a quorum to be determined, all eligible members must be logged in 
individually or shared device must present the IDs to camera for scanning. The meeting host will scan all IDs logged in and report to the branch secretary status. The meeting host shall also compile a list of eligible members present in the meeting and who have signed or shared their device and shown their IDs. Once a quorum of the meeting, we can proceed as per guideline. For the election of the BEC in virtual nomination, voting uh, for names will be by show of hands done virtually, counted by the electoral the same uh, results shall be announced in the same manner. All the results of notice of meetings, start of quorums, uh, scanning of IDs and process, including login of dispute, apply to the virtual as well as the decentralized BGM as to the normal. These reports virtual must be uh, decentralized and be sent in and recorded. What are the general comments? Consolidation of all membership forms to be in one list. Publication distribution of captured membership for the list must be seen by every member. All members must be given an opportunity to correct their membership. Convening a pre-BGM for membership update, inform members of the final database who is eligible to participate and who is not. Those who are not eligible must be given reason why they are unable to participate. The branch secretary chair and treasurer must prepare reports. All reports must be presented to the BBGM and must be duly adopted by the BEC. BEC must also craft and adopt the agenda to present. Time use and early communication for B BGM dates that must be done to set within the time frame. In conclusion, comrades, conference resolution and the importance of organizational renewal must be emphasized. We must look at leadership through the eye of the needle. And the task is to renew the organization. Now rest with all of us and all of our collective energies. Um, success in convening these branches must translate into a better, stronger, united ANC. Uh, the structures, the REC, PEC, BEC, and members are called upon to channel all their energies and collective efforts towards a successful renewal of our branches and the renewal of our mandate to all these structures. We dare not fail and history will judge us harshly. Thank you, comrades.